today I wanted to do a very famous case that happened in Hong Kong in the spring of 1999. Well, how this case came to light was when a very young girl, different sources say different things, she was either 13, 14, or 15 years old. The point is, this young girl came into the police station. Oh, Fung. They gave her a fake name due to the fact that she was very young when this whole case happened. Anyways, so she went down to the police station and she was telling police officers, I'm being haunted by this woman that was tortured to death. And they were kind of all like, stupid girl like what are you talking about and she was kind of like well actually i played a part of the tortures and beatings that ultimately led to this woman's death this is the story of fan man yi or most notably known as the hello kitty murder Fan Man Yi was abandoned by her family at a very young age, causing her to go to a girl's home. It's really sad because different sources say different things, but she was either 15 or 16 years old when she got kicked out of the girl's home because nobody wanted to adopt her. So she became homeless and started to have a drug addiction. They said that she was addicted to heroin, but most websites that I go to just say drug addiction. To pay for her drug addiction, she became a prostitute. At age 21, she joined a brothel. At age 22, she actually had a baby with one of her clients who also had a drug addiction and by age 23 she actually got a job as a hostess at a nightclub. There she met this man named Chan Men Lok. Chan Men Lok was a gang member and also a pimp. I'm pretty sure he was a part of a gang called the Triads. She became a sex worker for him and one day she decided to steal his wallet. Different sources say different things. I saw one that said $4,000 and another one that said $500. So I'm not really sure if it's $4,000 in their currency translated to $500 US dollars, but let's just say she just stole money from him. She took his money and then shortly afterwards she was caught. So he was furious. He was like, well, you're gonna have to pay this money somehow. So give me back the money, which she did, plus interest. So how she was gonna pay it off was prostituting herself. Chan Man Lok, along with his gang member buddies, kidnapped her for a month. Their names were 27-year-old Lung Xing Cho and 21-year-old Lung Wai Lun, as well as A Feng, which at that time she was Chan Man Lok's girlfriend. Okay, I butchered the names I'm because they're just pieces of shit. Anyways, during that month, this woman endured just horrible, horrible acts of torture inflicted upon her. I really, really love true crime, but obviously there are some cases that make you feel very queasy and this was definitely one of them. They had their way with her constantly. They beat her with a metal bar. They would string her up and use her as a punching bag. They would rub spices on her wounds. They used hot plastic and candle wax to burn her legs and feet so she wouldn't be able to escape. Ah Feng said that Chan Man Lok was beating her, like kicking her 50 times. She decided to join in and slap her around too. When police asked her, why did you join in? Her response was, I had a feeling it was for fun. Probably one of the worst things, as if what I just read to you wasn't enough. They also forced her to smile during the whole time she was getting tortured and they forced her to eat urine and feces. If she didn't comply, obviously she'd just get tortured. There really wasn't a way out of this. She eventually died from her wounds in April 1999, Ah Feng testified in exchange for protection. Instead of getting murder, you know, as you would expect, they got manslaughter. So they only got 20 years. When police went to the apartment that this 14-year-old girl, Ah Feng, took them to, they found the boiled skull because they decided to dismember her corpse, fry her corpse. The reason why they did that is because they didn't want it to smell like rotten fish. They then boiled her head. And after boiling her head, they sewed it up into a Hello Kitty mermaid doll. They also said supposedly, I'm not really sure, supposedly they would cook their food using the same utensils that they used to fry her corpse. The only thing recovered at the scene was her skull, one tooth, and some organs in a plastic bag. December 7, 2000, the three men were convicted of manslaughter. Like I said, they will be eligible for parole in 2020. I haven't seen any new updates but I'm pretty sure they're still in prison and I hope they rot and go to hell. So that's all I have for this case. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.